Hello, my name is Alfie. I'm from Singapore. I'm 44 years old, coming 44 years old in February. And I'm working in Phuket, my first time in Phuket. I'm working as an executive chef in Dream Phuket Hotel and Spa. My inspiration to be a chef when I was uh, 8 to 12 years old, my parents were separated, so I was staying with my dad. So my dad had to work in the, in the morning and in the night he comes back. I have to help to do dinner for, for the family, my sister, myself and him, three of us. So he would usually always call my grandmother, ask her for recipes and then he'll cook. So I always have to help because my sister was five years old, she was very little. So I had to help. Then uh, one day when I was 12 years old, my father came back from work very late. So the dish was shepherd's pie, it's an English uh, dish which has uh, minced meat below and then on top um, potatoes and we have to bake it. So I've done it many times with my father, but I've never cooked it, always prepare and wash. So that day he came back home late, so I decided you know, just to do it because my sister was crying, hungry. So when he came back, he asked me, why is the kitchen clean? Where is everything? You know, you're supposed to help me prepare. I said, I cook already. And he asked me, how do you know how to cook? I said, I see you cook all the time, right? You know, so I think it's very late, I, I help you. So my father asked me to bring the food, you know, so I brought the dish out. And then my sister already ate, so she slept. So my father saw the food and he ate. So when he ate it, he cried, you see. And when he cried, he said, thank you. And then I understand also that food always brings people together. So that's how it inspired me. But it helped me to realize that food is, is very special. You know, you don't have to be a chef, but food is a very special connection. In Singapore, we have this thing called national service. All male, 18 years old, have to serve the country, either the police, the army or firemen. So I was in the police force because of my father. Eh? So when I was in the police force, I had to serve the country for three years. But I went for uh, police training for three months. After you pass out, I went AWOL. Meaning I don't come to work. And in Singapore, it's a very strict thing. When you work for the government, if you do something wrong, your punishment is double. So when I was in there for five years, but good conduct, I came out in three years. Then I decided to do something for my life. So in Singapore, we had this thing called the Yellow Ribbon Project, meaning giving uh, inmates a second chance in life. So when I was looking at the notice, I saw the government is giving free scholarship uh, to do culinary cooking, cooking, cooking school, free of charge. So I went, learned, came out, was good at it, and then that's how I learned, I started. But when I went out, I went to work with a chef, but not as a chef, you have to start from the bottom. Even though you have your papers, you have to start from the bottom and then slowly. So I guess now I've been cooking give and take 13, 14 years already. Now I think cooking is very special. Not just about cooking, not just about the TV or all that. But cooking is, is something very personal. When you cook, you give someone to eat. It's a responsibility, one. And second, any strangers. So far I work here for three months. Anybody that if you talk to about food, they become your friend. And if you serve them and let them eat, they become better friends. So I think, yeah, that's, that's what inspires me of how to become, to become a chef. And also now, I am more inspired because I get to learn more about Thai cooking, you know? Because um, in Singapore or anywhere in the world, when people ask you Thai food, Tom Yam, Pad Thai, maybe green curry, and that's about all we all know about Thai food. But when I came to, to Thailand now, I got to know North have a different kind of food, South have different kind of food, you know, and so many different. Plus the street food is so amazing. You know? So yeah, I'm very happy to be here. I get to learn. All right, for, for my, what I feel that, what I like to bring to Dream Phuket Hotel and Spa, is that when I first came here, I, I went to a few restaurants around here, a few hotels and take a look what they have. And based on my past experience, I used to be in Bali. I was in Bali for five years, I get to learn some Balinese cooking. And I'm from Singapore, where Singapore we have a mix of Malay, Indian, Chinese, you know, food and all. So I'm thinking doing Southeast Asian food over here. So when, when the guest comes here, they have a taste of Singapore laksa, Singapore chili crab, you know, a bit of Malaysian uh, desserts, you know, like chendol. 
and then uh, a bit of Thai food also but like Thai street food but bring it to the restaurant kind of dining experience or level so these are some of the ideas that I like to use and uh, recently what I saw is that I saw I went to Phuket market I went to a place called uh, Kaset Kaset market I saw a thing in the morning where they did uh, Sangkaya in Singapore we have a thing called Kaya here is called Sangkaya and then in Indonesia is also called Kaya Sri Kaya so same name but different so I think I want to use that and make it into a dessert you know so people who come here get to understand that Thai food is not always the same thing but there's so many things and also I like to share that uh, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, Southeast Asia cuisine I'm representing all you know not representing Singapore not representing Malaysia but representing all because we all share the same um, ingredients but different style of cooking so I think that would be very nice to show people. I, I will do a little bit of Western because some Farang or Westerners, they come here, they might not like spicy or the taste. So yes, we will have some basic of that. But the highlight will be Asian food because we are Asian after all. For the menu today, it's called Yam Wun Sen, which means Thai glass noodle salad. So the difference is that I know that this food is uh, very famous in, for the street you know it's a is ties eat this all the time but i like to take this and change it a little to how a restaurant would make it how it look like you know based on presentation taste still the same but maybe a little less spicy for for the foreigners so we'll have three kinds of seafood on top of it it's very refreshing you know especially in thailand now when it's a monsoon season i think a little bit of heat gives you a bit more flavor so what I would like to say that in this 2017, I like to welcome you, I like to welcome everybody. Come over to our hotel, you know, we're going to make new things, new programs, new food, new menu, a lot of new promotions. I'm looking forward to see all of you. All right.